Greetings from Yellowstone National Park. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that little intro there of the Great Grey Owl. Uh, I just finished up a magnificent morning with the Great Grey Owl up here in Yellowstone. And uh, it was awesome. Uh, I think I made some really nice photos there. I won't know, you know, if everything's sharp and just perfect till I get home and check them out on the big screen. But, uh, I just wanted to tell you what's been going on here. So, I'm up in Yellowstone. It's late October. Uh, I haven't been up to Yellowstone for a few months. It's been so busy, not only just the traffic and everything, but I've been busy uh, doing workshops in the Tetons that I haven't left the Tetons. And there have been like hardly any owl activity in the Tetons. It's been a major bummer. We've had lots of really good other stuff though. But you know how I love owls. Uh, but here in Yellowstone, there's been, it's been a really good fall for owl photography. So I've known about these owls and people have been photographing them and making awesome photos. Uh, my Instagram feed is filled with beautiful owl photos from Yellowstone. So I finally, I waited until like all the campgrounds are closed and the park's about to close um, before I decided to come up here just so I could kind of avoid the crowds and hopefully have a little calmer scene up here, which it has been, which is awesome. So first thing, I got up here about, I don't know, I woke up about two and a half hours before sunrise and drove up here. I got here, it was still really dark to shoot, but I found an owl, like just driving down the road, boom, there was an owl, I don't know, 30 feet off the road. So bang, I started shooting that and I shot it for a couple of hours. I had it alone for about an hour. The roads were closed, headed east, so nobody was coming that direction. It was awesome. And then uh, probably by the end, there were maybe a dozen photographers there. Uh, some of my YouTube fans actually were there. So hello to you guys who said hello. That was awesome. And um, anyway, it was amazing. So I don't vlog. One, it happened so fast, I just started shooting. I didn't uh, have time to get my video gear out and start vlogging. And then uh, by the time I had some time to stop and think, there were a bunch of people around and I get vlogger fright. So I didn't vlog until now. It's much later. And uh, I decided to go for a little walk to see if I could find anything else. But uh, it was an amazing morning. Photography was excellent. It's dark and stormy and windy. A little bit of rain off and on, which is uh, like perfect fall weather up here in the mountains is awesome. Uh, but the only, pro you know, the only problem with this morning was shooting at high ISOs. So I was floating around at between 1,600 and 6,400 on the ISO, which is higher than I like to go on my D850, but it'll be fine. And that's what I had to do in order to get the shutter speed I needed to get the flight photos that I needed. So um, it was excellent, though. That owl was awesome. He was like perch to perch, uh, flight shots. Um, he caught four gophers while I was there. So it's a juvenile owl, but he's obviously a good hunter already because he caught four gophers just this morning. And, uh, so anyway, it was a really magnificent morning with a great gray owl. Uh, I'm going to go hike back to my car, assuming I don't find anything here. Maybe there's an owl like sneaking up behind me. Just let me know if you see anything sneak up behind me over there, but... Uh, I'm going to make a little um, freeze-dried lasagna for lunch with the, um, you know, the jet boil. Boil up some water, freeze-dried lasagna. It'll be, it'll taste delicious after a cold morning out here. But uh, that's the deal. I would plan on making a video where I could talk like while I was shooting and kind of work through my, some of my thought processes and stuff, but it didn't happen. It was just, there was too much going on, too many people, too much action with the owl, which was awesome. So hope you enjoy some of the video and the photos that I made. And uh, once I'm done rambling on here, I will continue with a little more video and certainly some of my favorite photos from the morning. And uh, that'll be it, unless I find something else on my little hike around here. But uh, I hope this was a cool enough video for you. I sure had a blast making it this morning. Um, just kind of got lucky up here. Well, I mean, not that lucky because the owls have been pretty consistently good up here, but I hopped right into an owl that was active and hunting and gave me some really good photo ops. Um, I feel pretty good. You know, the high ISO was the only bummer, but um, you know what I've said about being well-practiced and practice, 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 because when these moments happen, 
and you find something, an owl in this case, that gave me a really good show and some really good opportunities, uh, I think I nailed them. So uh, we'll see when I get back. But I feel like um, everything felt good and um, I felt competent out here today. So I think I made some really nice photos and that owl was super cooperative. So major thanks to that owl. Uh, that thing's doing an awesome job out here hunting and uh, I happened to be there to to document a bunch of that and it was awesome. So thanks to that owl and um, to everybody else around too. That's an important thing I, I'll mention before I stop rambling. The, the photographers that were there, everybody was super well behaved and uh, I've seen it a lot this summer. They're just, uh, the crowds have been so thick and people have been misbehaving out in the parks and uh, making it difficult. Uh, this was a perfect situation of everybody was behaving and giving the owl plenty of space to hunt not walking in front of each other, being respectful of each other where we, we have our cameras set up and waiting for things to happen. Um, but the biggest thing was just being respectful towards the owl and letting it hunt and letting it catch its prey and giving it time and space to eat it. It was really great to see out there today. So, um, like, be like that. <laughs> I try and be like that when I'm out in the field and uh, it was awesome to see everybody else that was out here today behaving well, respecting the the bird and giving it lots of space and then the bird in return gave us a lot of great opportunities so it was awesome to see so thanks for watching today uh enjoy the rest of the um the little video segment and some of my favorite photos from the morning so have a good one take care see you later oh i did forget to mention i do have africa workshop coming up in february we are taking deposits for the Africa workshop. They're fully refundable now until we make a final go, no-go decision with COVID situation. But uh, it's going to be an amazing trip. We're doing 10 days in Kenya and 10 days in Tanzania. More information on my website. Africa is unbelievably good. It's kind of like these awesome mornings, but every single day. <laughs> it really is. It's incredible. So uh, get in touch with me if you haven't already about Africa. We're going to have a fun group of people, and of course the photography is going to be amazing, and Africa is a wonderful place. So check that out, and uh, now this is it. Have a good day. See you.